Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to the program. So yesterday, I posted the March update for Serenity OS. And there was actually one feature I forgot to talk about, which I do still want to demo. So I thought I would just make a quick video uh, showing that off. And it's something in Ladybird. Um, so one of the big challenges we're having with Ladybird lately, as the uh, engine matures and becomes more capable, is that uh, a lot of websites start to kind of work. And this is awesome. And it's really fun to debug and add missing functionality to the engine. Uh, but um, we only learn that websites kind of work when somebody tests them. And this is kind of a problem because um, those of us working on the engine aren't testing every website in the whole world. Um, so what ends up happening is that people try out Ladybird and go to some website that they like and it doesn't work correctly. Um, and then they just think, oh, what a bad browser. I'm not going to do anything with this. And uh, they just forget about the whole thing. And we never learned that that website didn't work. So it's a pretty big issue. And I thought we could improve our productivity if we um, had some way of learning when a website didn't work. So uh, let's go to, for example, Spotify. And uh, we'll notice that it doesn't work, right? It just loads a black page with some broken layout. Uh, has a little button here, but nothing really interesting. Um, so if somebody tried a website and they had this experience and they were like, ah, oh, this doesn't work, um, it would be super cool if we learned about it. So this is actually what I've been working on. And let me show you. This thing right here is a list of the events that just happened. So they show up as um, bug reports in a new repository I've created. Uh, and it's private for now because uh, I'm still kind of sketching out how it's going to work. Um, but let me show you, for example, what type of information we get here. Uh, it tells us what kind of event it was. This was a successful load. Um, what was the URL and some information about the computer I was using and stuff like that. And, and it even includes a, a screenshot of the browser. Um, and it has some friendly labels over here so you can search and, and um, find interesting uh, reports more in easily. Uh, but a successful load is not really super interesting. So the broken load is more interesting. And um, that has a screenshot as well of the broken load. And um, it tells us that there's a CSS debug log available. There was some unhandled JavaScript exception, blah, blah, blah. You can actually download the full log, which has more metadata. Um, and then you can just get straight into debugging. And I think as we add, I've only added these two events so far, the successful load and the broken load. But as we add more event types, this is going to make debugging websites that we don't even know about a lot easier, right? Uh, and yeah, that's, that's kind of the feature. And um, there are some interesting opportunities with this as well, because I've already spoken to uh, one organization that uh, might be interested in sponsoring the project if um, we let them have access to some of this bug reporting data. And I'm not exactly sure what they want to do with browser bug reports, because it doesn't seem very interesting. But uh, you know, if, if it's useful to somebody, they say they can use it to speed up the internet for their customers. Anyway, um, that would be potentially an interesting source of some extra revenue, right? Anyway, this is what I've been working on. So it's Ladybird Reports, and I'll be making these public um, later on after a bit more refinement. So um, that was the demo. <laughs> Thank you all for checking it out, and I will see you all next time.